Thank you very much for inviting me uh, to deliver this speech today for you and talking about uh, energy efficiency and my experience in Russia. Uh, do you know that Russian energy inefficiency is equal to annual energy consumption of France? Can you imagine this? Uh, do you know the reasons? All the equipment, a low tariffs during the past uh, the Soviet period uh, has led to perception of energy resources as something free. International Finance Corporation, as a development institution, uh, decided to target this issue. And our, our objective was to identify barriers, why companies are so inefficient in using energy resources, and what do they need to change their uh, behavior, change their business uh, processes to improve this. So we basically, when we started in 2005, when I joined this program, we identified two main barriers. Technical barrier, lack of new technologies, lack of knowledge about technologies, lack of modern equipment. Second barrier, lack of financial resources. To change the processes, to change the equipment, companies need billions of rubles or dollars for, of investments. So uh, we decided to open the, the, the program and we started to work. And we, uh, I like to meet clients. I mean, I like to talk to companies. And when I met the um, chief engineer of a bakery, uh, he was looking for a modernization project. He told me that I need to be more efficient. I need to produce more bread. I need to improve quality of my uh, products. I need to compete on the market because the market for uh, in food industry was quite competitive. Uh, so I need something to change. And uh, here you are coming, you are offering some recommendations of how to save energy and how basically to save money. And what should I do? I should buy new Owens. So the company bought the new Owens and invested $200,000 with a payback of less than three years, which was a very good project for the company and a very good project for a banker. But then uh, we started to see that even if we have all economic benefits that shows, we have calculations that shows that, yes, you need to modernize your processes, yes, you need to change this oven, yes, you need to change this boiler. The project is not, is not implemented by some reasons we cannot explain. Not technical reasons and not financial reasons. Not lack of technology, there is a new boiler, I can buy it, I can install. And there is a banker or investor who is willing to invest in my project. So, but I still am not doing the project. What's, the, what's an issue? Uh, recently, I got a call from the uh, central region of Russia, from a, from a company. The general director told me, you, you remember three years ago you visited my company and you provided some recommendations how to save uh, energy. And we decided to do a project. It's still a project. We even didn't start it yet. Can you come back and check again your recommendations? So three years they're wasting money. They're hitting the atmosphere because they have a lot of leakages in their in the processes and they're still not doing the project. Why? What's the main problem? I think uh, it's not a priority for them in, in taking investment decisions. It's not a priority. There are different priorities for the decision maker of, of, of a company. Uh, well, the situation is not that bad. We see a lot of interesting projects, we see a lot of companies improving their operations, but still we need to do something. Another case, the company that is producing uh, construction materials use a lot of compressed air and their technologies. And we, uh, when we visited the company, we asked them, okay, you, you plan to invest uh, 1 million euro to new uh, equipment, but what about your current system of compressed air? Do you have any leakages? And we were talking to chief energy manager of this company. He said, leakages? No, I don't have any leakages at all. Okay, how old is your system? Well, it was built in uh, 1974, 1975, something. Are you sure that you don't have any leakages? Yes, yes, maybe 1%, 2% maximum. We installed the special measuring equipment and we see that they have 35%. It is nonsense, absolutely nonsense to do a project to invest 1 million if you don't address 
the issue of uh, losing uh, resources at the same time. But uh, the perception is changing, it's changing slowly. And I remember when um, uh, I was talking to um, my um, uh, Western colleagues, colleagues from Western Europe and from North America, they were saying, well, um, you know, it's evident uh, in our countries that we need to be, uh, to, to, to care about environment, we need to care about uh, uh, the, the, the cities where we live, we need to care about all these uh, important issues. Uh, and the same uh, should be uh, in your country as well. And I say, uh, yes, I know, I know the banker who said to me that um, I will invest in energy efficiency projects not only because it's financially viable for me, but also because I like my city where I operate. My family is living in this city. And I cannot afford that my clients will build some new factories in this city using my money. And those factories will pollute and will uh, make the environmental situation even worse in this city. So it's, it's, not, it's absolutely not like financial reason for this behavior, it's something else. And we, I continuously think about how to, how to use, how to leverage this knowledge, I mean, how to convince more people to change their uh, behavior, how, how to save energy and how to save uh, uh, resources that we have. Uh, when I was uh, in school, uh, I participated in a school exchange with France. So the group of uh, Russian uh, uh, boys and girls was supposed to go to north of France, Normandy, and the group of uh, boys and girls from France was supposed to go to St. Petersburg. And we got a call from France asking us. It was uh, 1989, just the beginning of Perestroika. And we got a call from France asking, mm, can you please, it's a call from parents of those uh, boys and girls, can you please explain, do you have uh, um, hot water in your apartments? Do you have lighting on the street? Do you have uh, electricity supply? I mean, they are sending our children to your country. We, we, we think that maybe it's too risky. Uh, but, uh, yeah, and they explained and they came and they were very happy to see that, yes, there is lighting and there is hot water and life is good and the city is very nice and uh, really it was, a, it was a very good trip. Uh, but in the end, what we, uh, what we see now that uh, we just started uh, later the process of changing the environmental behavior. We started later than uh, Western Europe, uh, Denmark faced the issue of high uh, energy tariffs in the uh, 1970s, and it took them about 10 years to 10 to 20 years to change. And now Denmark is one of the most energy efficient countries in, uh, in Western Europe. So we are on the right, right track in Russia. Uh, and, and, and we see very interesting examples. Another example, we, we were supposing to invest in the project of um, uh, energy efficient modernization, and the bank was considering to invest in this, in this project. Uh, was discussing with us details, so we said, okay, before invest, you, we need to, to do an energy audit. We need to understand what is happening in this company. But suddenly the banker said, okay, but probably if I'm going to invest in this uh, energy efficiency project, maybe you will do energy audit of my premises, because I'm, as a banker, if I offer some financial resources for energy efficiency, I have also be uh, energy efficient as well. So this is the... Uh, this is the message for us that, uh, yes, we are on the right track and uh, the situation is changing. But what can change the, um, the mentality, what could be the mindset for the population? This is an issue. We are not addressing this issue in our work because we are focusing on business, we are focusing on companies, we are not focusing on people. But when I see uh, like videos, uh, like, like TED videos, and when I see what is happening in other countries, I think that, uh, well, the young population who is traveling, who is going abroad, who see the di different paths, different environmental behavior in different countries, they, um, they understand the issue. But the older generation, they may be like, uh, it's business as usual for them. They, they used to consider energy resources as something free and they're still uh, uh, doing this. I mean, for them it's not, um, it's not an issue. So maybe we need some, uh, I don't know, maybe we need some pop stars and rock stars to appeal. 
we need, uh, when, I, I don't know, I don't think if, do you think if Russian pop stars will uh, change uh, uh, four-wheel drive large uh, cars, energy inefficient cars, to smarts, to small cars that not using a lot of energy or hybrid cars, do you think it will be a signal for, for the population to change their behavior? I think it will. Thank you.